dear friends and followers welcome back to our channel it's Diane here and today I am back with a new video for you guys I'm participating in the challenge but first if you're new here welcome to our channel I'm Diane and I host this cha channel Deco Easy together with my mother-in-law Jenny we both live in the Netherlands and we love to decorate especially for the Christmas season now as I said I'm going to participate in a challenge it's called the winter cupcake challenge the Winter Artsy Cupcake Challenge, I'm sorry I said it wrong. And yeah, this challenge is hosted by uh, Maria from Artsy Cupcake and she has a co-host Heidi. I will put the link to the, the channels in the description box below so you can visit the channels and check out all their videos. And yeah, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to make a cupcake because there, yeah, you had to make cupcakes or you had to show your winter cupcake stand. So, yeah, actually the place where you serve your cupcakes. But, I, yeah, I have a little holiday right now, so I wanted to make something myself. And that is why I chose for this reindeer cupcake mix. Uh, the light isn't really great to film this. Right, it's from a shop called Hema. Uh, it's a very popular shop here in the Netherlands. They also have stores, uh, if I will I'm right, in Germany, even in France, Belgium, and maybe even in the United Kingdom, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I have here a kit to make these cute reindeer cupcakes. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. The recipe is inside. I've bought myself some butter, eggs, and some cream. Maybe, yeah, it comes in this cute bag. Let me see what is up here. Here, fondant, chocolate, chocolate cupcakes, mm. and nutritions. Well, that's not very exciting, but I am curious how this turns out. Um, I hope they become beautiful. I don't know. I've never made something like this actually before. Well, it's going, sure it's going to be a lot of fun. I am filming it in steps, how I do it, uh, because I have quite a small kitchen and I don't have enough space to put my camera stand on while I am making these cupcakes for you. So I film step by step how I make these cupcakes and I'm very curious about how to turn out. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible for you. And I'm ex very excited for to, uh, to participate in this challenge actually. So let's start enough talking. I'm going to the kitchen and I'm going to take you with me. So here we are in the kitchen. This is the paper wrap and this is the bag with the mix. I suppose actually that this is a cake mix. Oh no, there are, oh look, all kind of utensils in there. Cupcake spring, baking mix, everything. And inside here is the recipe, it comes in four languages, no even more, two, four, five languages. This is the Dutch one, but I will show you where is the English one here. I'll show you how I'm going to make this. Whoa, kind of difficult without a stand for the camera. So I have to warm up the oven. Yeah, here it says what's inside of the bag. I have to add butter, which I have up here, eggs and cream. You will need a mixing bowl, hand mixer. I have cupcake baking tray. Well, I don't own a cupcake baking tray because my oven is simply too small for that. I have a rotating yeah, plateau inside of my oven and when it rotates, the cupcake baking tray is simply too large for my oven so it can't rotate with the thing in it so i think i use a cake stand a cake tray i don't know a mold how you call that and i will put the cupcakes in there i think that will also do well yeah preheat the oven let the butter melt slowly place the baking mix actually kind of yeah i think this will work out well bake the cakes then we have to stir the cream all right now let's just get started and we'll see how this turns out so the oven is on this is how I displayed my cupcake mold spring things in the cake stand and this is a brownie baking tray 
And so here are our two eggs and some water. And I will pour the baking mix, which I have here, down in there. And on the stove, I have the butter melting slowly. Maybe I have to put it a little bit slower, just like so. And now we have to wait. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to pour it into the bowl down there, together with the baking mix. Just have to wait now. We'll take some time. The butter is completely melted. I've turned the stove off and now I'm going to pour that easily into here. Oh, the smell of this already smells so good. And now I just have to mix it, I think about 30 to 60 seconds, so everything is nice and mixed up. And then I'm going to fill the cupcake or mold. I don't know the word for this. Can you help me? How do you call this in, in the United States or in England? Please explain it to me, because every time I'm looking for the right words, I don't, don't know. All right, let's start mixing. So, the mix is done. Now I'm going to use two spoons. So these are ready for the oven. I did actually quite a dumb thing. I pulled out all the cupcake papers. But the recipe said you only had to fill up eight. Really wonder why did they pour five extra inside? Well, I thought by myself, hmm, that isn't very much dough inside of the <laughs> the paper. But so I scooped everything over back in there so I have eight. And I hope they fit in this tray. So then I only have to use one, because yeah, you saw it, my oven isn't that big, this is really the oven. And I'm wondering how I have to fill up the oven so everything fits nice and easy in it. So there they are, I hope it fits and that they bake nice and evenly in the oven. I have to bake them for half an hour, so I'll be back with you when they are cooled down and out of the oven because then we can decorate the cupcakes with the fondant and everything else. While the cupcakes are in the oven, I'm going to slowly heat up the cream because I have to make some chocolate cream out of this. And therefore we have these chocolate pearls. Once it is warmed up, I have to put the pearls inside of the cream. I have to give it a good stir until so all the pearls are solved or dissolved, sorry, not solved are dissolved in the cream and then I have to put the cream inside of the fridge for half an hour so yeah the cupcakes still have to bake 20 minutes right now and yeah I thought let's make this already because then it can cool down while the cupcakes are cooling down as well Now it is stirred well. Look at the color of this. This looks so yummy. I want to dive in this. <laughs> oh, I love chocolate. It looks delicious. It smells really good. So now I'm going to put this inside of the fridge for half an hour. So I have to wait till everything is cooled down and we have to stir it in the meantime several times. So let's go. And now we have to wait till the cupcakes are ready. In the meantime, I have to wait. I thought, well, what can I do? So let's make the fondant ready for use. I have to make the antlers, the eyes, and the noses of the reindeers. I have eight cupcakes to decorate, so I have to divide everything into eight pieces so I can decorate everything. I've never done, actually, <clears throat> a fondant before, so I'm really curious how, about how this turns out. And now, I, yeah, once I'm ready, I have to lay down in there is eyes and noses. For my workspace, and when the cupcakes are cooled down, I can decorate them. Okay, the noses are done. Now I'm going to make the eyes and then the antlers. I'll keep my surface things for last. And here we have the eyes with the noses together. This one is for the antlers. And these are the cupcakes that just came out of the oven. So I have let them cool down for at least half an hour. And then we'll see if they're ready. And also if the chocolate is ready to pour upon the cupcakes. And here are the antlers. <laughs> Actually, I was, I think, about busy for 45 minutes making just eight pairs of antlers. 
I found it so difficult to do it just like the image on the package of the recipe. Yeah, well, let's just say I think they look like antlers to me. I'm happy with the eyes and the noses, but the antlers, nah, I don't know. Maybe they look different when I place them upon the cupcakes. I am going to decorate the cupcakes right now because this is the cream with the chocolate pearls. Look how ooh, hard it is. Looks like perfect chocolate paste to me. And the cupcakes are also cooled down. This one is a bit messy, but the rest is actually baked pretty well. I think I do it like this. This end is higher than the rest. So here will be his eyes and the antlers and the nose comes back there. Right, let's start decorating and then we're finished! Yay! Now all the cupcakes are covered in chocolate. You can see better up here. And now I'm going to decorate them as a reindeer. <laughs> well, this is the final result. I think they look pretty cute. Really funny as well. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun watching this. At least I had. And I hope to see you all back in our next video. Bye!